In today's video, I will discuss key differences between PhD and postdoc. For the Faculty of Sciences, PhD is the highest degree you can ever obtain. Why postdoc is not a degree? It is a fellowship or a temporary employment that you can do after obtaining your PhD. I am Dr. Benedict Ofo. You may like my video, subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. So the first point we will compare is the mode of application and registration or acceptance for PhD, you need to get a supervisor who has funding for the project. For postdoc, you also need to get a supervisor who you use his or her lab to do your postdoc. Um, you need to send code email to this PI or supervisor, and then if they accept you, then you register. Both PhD and postdoc, the, the position can be advertised in the faculty website or even in the career job uh, in the job career website you may be interviewed by the pi or the faculty committee can actually interview you before you can be accepted to do your phd or your postdoc for you to be accepted for a phd you have to must have obtained the master's degree for you to be accepted for phd or less if you are upgraded from a bsc to a phd for phd you need to pay tuition fees whether you paying it yourself or you are funded by funding bodies. But for postdoc, you don't need to pay any school fees or any tuition fees. PhD in science requires a minimum of three years. Uh, if you want to do it part-time, it will take more years, maybe five years or even more. For postdoc, is a minimum of one year, but it's renewable depending on your output, depending on the funding or the school or the company. Um, you can do it one year, two years. You can even do a postdoc up to five years. For you, to graduate for PhD, you need to write the thesis. Remember, PhD, you need to have um, added the new knowledge to science. You must have a novel findings. But at the end of your PhD, you must have a thesis that you submit for you to qualify for graduation. For postdoc, you don't need to write any thesis. You don't need any thesis. All you need for postdoc is to publish articles. For PhDs, in some schools, there are a number of articles you need to publish for you to also graduate for PhD. Some school requires you to publish at least one or two articles. For you to have your postdoc renewed in some schools, there are some article units you need to publish for you to get it renewed for another year. So both PhD and postdoc, you need to publish. For both PhD and postdoc, you're required to teach or mentor undergraduates, scholars and postgraduate scholars or graduate scholars. You need to have this experience if you want to pursue your career in academics, even in industry, those experiences are also needed. Postdoc fellows have uh, more time to try different experiments, delve into different areas of research. They have more freedom compared to PhD. For postdoc, you can collaborate you need to reach out, you need to network, you need to have a lot of experience because now, remember, you are in the transition stage, either going to industry or going to academics. You need to know people, you need to work with different people, attend conferences, present your research to, to, to people out there, to share your knowledge. So in terms of salary or stipends, Obviously, postdoc gets more compared to PhD. So both of these um, programs, whether it's PhD, whether it's postdoc, will definitely open doors for you out there, either in the industry or in the academic sector. So anyone you have opportunity or you have the dream or wish to do, just go and do it. Thank you. You may like this video, subscribe to my channel, drop a comment in the comment section if you have a question to me. Thank you.